okay guys today's pandas interview question is that how to split the column brand along white spaces and create new columns in shark tank india all pitches data frame so basically we have a data frame it's been called as shark tank india all pitches and it has a column called brand and that brand is having the names of different different brand items so those brands some of the brands is comprised of let's say two words and some of the brands is comprised of let's say three words and all those names are separated by white spaces so the question is being asked to us that take that brand column and along those white spaces which are there inside the brand column for individual brand names you make multiple columns so let's see how do we do it so at the very first i'll import the necessary library so i'm going to import pandas so i'll say import pandas as pd and then i'll read my data frame which is basically there in a dot csv file and i'll store in into a variable called df so i'll say df equals to pd dot read underscore csv and i'll just copy the name of data frame from here itself now i'll say dot csv now it has been loaded to my df now let me run my df when i run my df i could see that this df is having a column called brand and this brand is having names of different different brands okay so and you could see that several brands is having like two names together blue pine and industry and this one is having goose scooters and you could see this one is like four different entities together like heart then space up then space my then space then sleeps so different names have different elements and like different white spaces so along those white spaces we need to create multiple columns so let's see how do we do it before starting it i just want to uh, make you know that if you could remember that how do we split a string value into multiple elements using the split function so let's say if i just write a string called as hello world and if i just use the functionality dot split and i'll just provide a white space to it so what is basically is going to happen that this string hello world is going to get divided into two parts because there is two elements which is having a white space between in it so i have specified that split this string into two parts along the white spaces so i'll end up getting a list which is having two elements hello and world so if we want to apply the same things over this brand then how do we do it for that i'll first select the column that is brand then i'll say dot str which stands for string and it is one of the functionality of the series itself then dot split and inside split i'll specify that by which you have to split the data so i'll specify a white space so quotation and a white space when i run this i see that each and every element of that particular column has got split it into different different parts so if it was having like two entities together it got split it into two parts if it was having four entities together it got split it into four different parts but the question is being asked to us that how would you create columns from this splitting i mean i don't want this to be there in one particular column but i want this to be into four different columns let's say this is heart up my sleeves so this has to be in four different columns if this is blue industry then it it has to be two different columns and such that for that there is one more parameter it's called expand and when you say expand equals to true let me run this so as you could see that there is 0 1 2 3 i mean four columns has been created and blue pine industry and the remaining two has become none and goose scooter and the remaining two has become none so let's see an example and see how it is actually happening 
So let's take, uh, I'll take a column called brand like this. And I'll take the name of uh, some most popular car brand. So I'll take uh, Audi. Then I'll take Mercedes Benz. Benz, sorry. Then I'll take BMW and I'll take the full form of BMW, which is, which is basically Bavarian Motor Works. And I'll take Land Rover. Let's say I have four brand written over here. The moment I apply dot split and after that I say expand equals to true. So what happens? The entity which is having the highest number of elements. So if you see the third third row, it is having three particular element, Bavarian, Motor and Works. So according to the entity which is having the maximum element inside of it, the same number of column will get created. So 0, 1 and 2 will get created. Now this Audi will get placed over here like this and remaining two will get filled with none value like this. And because Mercedes Benz is having two entities, so the first entities will go to the first column and the second entity will go to the second column and the third will get filled with none. The Bavarian motor works will similarly occupy all the columns and this Land Rover is having two entities. So first entity will go to the first column and the second entity will go to the second column and third will be none. So likewise, when you do expand equals to true, you get your results. So now when you go back, you see that four columns has been created. It means there must be some element inside your brand column, which is having four entities separated by white space. And you got a result like this. Okay. Thank you.